Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years and I've lost 60 pounds following the Start Solution and using the principles of calorie density. I wanna show you what I'm eating today as a busy mum, how I make this lifestyle work for me, when life is crazy, what systems I put in place to make weight loss sustainable for the long haul. So today I've got both of my babies at home, it is half term and also, Poor little Romy over here isn't feeling, isn't feeling very well. Um, and so we're just gonna have a bit of a snuggly day. I had arranged some things to go out and about, but we're just gonna snuggle today. Mm. Okay, so I've got loads of things going on in the kitchen this morning and I wanna take you and show you everything I've got. Mwah. Romy, you go do some lovely drawing with Abe. Okay, first and foremost, you guys know that I like to start my day with veggies and beans every single morning. So I've obviously got my veggies on. Here, I have got Two heads of broccoli, two courgettes, two carrots, and soy sauce and garlic. I've gone hard on the veggies because it's nearly 11 o'clock and I'm getting super, super hungry. And I want to start in like, and I've just really craved the veggies. So I wanted to start in a veggie heavy way. Um, and I've got loads of oil-free hummus left over that I'm going to add to the top of that for my beans. Um, then I was considering what I was going to do for breakfast part two. Didn't have a clue. Didn't know whether I fancied porridge or a smoothie or some ice cream. Then I looked in the fridge and I realised I've got sweet potatoes that I baked ages ago um, and they really need using. So I'm just going to do a very gorgeous, simple sweet potato medley. I'm going to do sweet potatoes, chopped banana, cinnamon, cinnamon. And we also bought some grapes yesterday. And I've been really craving grapes. So just something juicy and sweet and crunchy. So I'm going to have that with my grapes. So that is going to be my breakfast this morning. But I also have something else really exciting on the go. So yesterday night, last night, Abe and I decided to whip up some soy free tofu it's made using red lentils it's literally two ingredients red lentil and water and okay it fell apart a little bit because i dropped it on the floor in all honesty but this is what we made and i've got some in the air fryer cooking up right now and i'm telling you it actually tastes incredible so it's like a really really amazing like tofu -y texture this is just like for a firm one you can do super firm or you can do a super soft but this is an amazing texture so i've just cubed a few bits of this up and I've put some garlic salt, smoked paprika, nutritional yeast and some soy sauce on the top and I might actually have that with my breakfast. I feel like Abe's gonna want some, Romy wants these grapes. I'll show you when that comes out of the oven, um, when that comes out of the air fryer um, and I'll show you everything as it comes but it's gonna be a noisy day because I've got my babies and it might be short and sweet I might just show you the things that I'm eating but that's okay. Okay, veggies are all done, and let's pile this bad boy up, shall we? Mommy. Yeah. I feel like my vegetable proportions are starting to look really ridiculous, and I'm okay with that. Okay. Loads of lovely hummus on the top there. I'll probably just eat this whole thing. So it's worth saying that I don't really get hungry until about 11 o'clock or so. Um, and maybe that's why I start my day with such a large portion um, of food. But you obviously don't have to do that if you get hungry in the morning or even if you don't have as big an appetite as me, then feel free to just scale the volumes down. I'm just trying to show you um, the kinds of food that I, I have found and the way of eating that I have found that is fantastic for health and weight loss. So um, anyway, this is my gigantic, ridiculous mountain of veggies and beans that I start the day with every single day and I crave them every single day. I'm gonna go stuff my face and then I'll show you um, breakfast part two. Okay, I wanna show you my little soy-free tofu nuggety chunky things because these are absolutely delicious. They came out so, so crispy. They've got such an amazing flavor. They're obviously really bland like a tofu. So you have to inject flavor with anything that you want. But, oh my God, I'll tell you what, these are amazing. Mm. So yummy. So. I'm also gonna have this as breakfast part one, to be honest. Okay, I've finished all my veggies and my hummus and those little, little tofu -y things. Um, and this is breakfast part two. I've got two sweet potatoes warmed up in the microwave, one nice banana, some cinnamon, and loads of grapes. So this is gonna be my gigantic feast. When you eat whole food, plant-based, low fat, um, with calorie density in mind, you really can eat massive volumes. If you want to, you do not have to, but if you want to, you can. Anyway, this is gonna be so delicious. I haven't had this in ages. And it's a breakfast I used to have all the time. So simple to throw together. Literally took like 
three minutes of heating up the potato in the microwave. So if you want a breakfast on the go, something super fast and simple, this is a great option. And also something that's not oatmeal, porridge, if you don't like that. Mm. Yum. So underrated. It is 12.30 and we are heading out to go to the park to just play some football. And I thought I'd just take these three leftover Mommy. little um, nuggety things that I made the other day. Just because I thought it'd be nice to have a quick snack. Then when we come back, we're going to make a lovely lunch. Anyway, off we go. Abe is all ready to rumble. <laughs> and I've decided I'm not super hungry. We're gonna be having sushi in a couple of hours. I feel like I've had a really good amount of food today already, but I am getting a little bit snacky. So I wanted to make something light and I also really fancied something cold and a drink. So we're making a chocolate iced frappe kind of thing, uh, but without any coffee because the kids are gonna have some with me. And we're gonna use some of these lovely beans that we made for the chili the other day. Obviously it hasn't got anything else in it, it's just the plain beans. Um, so it's gonna be like bananas, beans, cocoa powder, loads of ice, a few hemp seeds, and some soy milk, vanilla, and maybe a bit of PB2 to give it a peanut butter vibe. If we fancy that, I'm gonna make it chocolatey first to start with. So I'll show you when it all comes together, but I'm very excited because um, this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay, so we have our delicious chocolatey frappe -y. goodness and somebody is rather excited to get involved Roz, are you excited anyway this is delicious mm. oh my god what a sneeze <laughs> we ended up also putting in half a cup of oats as well to make it like a little bit thicker um and the sweetness from the banana is all we needed so there was no dates or anything in here mm. Abe, Abe is thoroughly enjoying himself. Um, and this is like the perfect little, if you're not too hungry, but you just want a little something, something, this will do the trick. So that was a very delicious frappe -y thing. However, I got really, really full. So only ended up having that much. Um, so I have decided to have a warm cup of tea because it's really, really freezing cold. Um, so we've got a lovely cup of biscuit tea going on here. Mm. And for those of you who are not on the biscuit tea train and who don't know about it, it's basically, tea that tastes like biscuits because in England if you have tea usually I have a couple of biscuits and you like dunk it in the tea and stuff um don't know why it's just a thing so if you guys want to see what I get it's this bad boy because it's really really good so there's this biscuit version and then for night time I like a decaf so then I have this like bedtime tea and it's really really delicious anyway I'm just having a little biscuit tea to warm me up um it is nearly four o'clock um, and I have made all of the sushi rice already. I made a massive mountain of sushi rice um, so that we could have loads for the coming days. I really am loving like the sushi balls and like um, the little kind of like nuggety things that I've been making. So I thought if I make a big and loads. Let's have sushi now. Well, we are going to have sushi in about an hour. Um, but yes, yeah, so anyway, I've made loads of rice so we can have rice for days. Um, anyway, I am just doing some maths with Abe on the board because he really loves maths. It's so so super cute. We're doing like really complicated stuff like 14 times 89. I'm just showing them how to work it out. Then we're gonna have a little bubble party. Um, and then I'm gonna teach them how to play some guitar. Anyway, we're just having a little bit of fun and then we're gonna have to get to dinner later. Then we've decided after dinner we're gonna go out um to that place that we were playing football earlier today. We're gonna take James um, and we're gonna have a proper little run around just to like burn off extra steam. Uh, anyway, so that's our plan for the rest of the day. And at some point today, I do also wanna do a little meal plan because um, this one, because we've got um, James's mum coming to stay from tomorrow, which should be really fun. Uh, obviously we've got the week off, it's half term. She wanted to come and just see the kids and stuff, so that'd be really fun. Um, so I want to do a specific meal plan catered to her. She's not vegan, but she she likes a lot of vegan things, but I need to make sure I've got some specific things that I know she's definitely going to eat. So I'm going to have a think about that and like kind of rejig and do a nice meal plan for her. Anyway, so I'll take you on that road either today or tomorrow when we do that. It is half four and I am prepping for sushi this evening. So I want to show you what I've got going on. I have got some carrots, some cucumber, avocado and... 
and I thought instead of using tofu, I would check out this new like red lentil tofu stuff. So I've just got it in a little, on a little non-sticky thing. Um, I'm just gonna try that out. And I'm really hoping, not yet baby, I'm really hoping this works because it would be such a cheap way of doing sushi without having to buy tofu. Um, and it's really delicious, I think anyway. So Sushi is all done. Let me show you this beautiful, vibrant goodness. I just love the look of a sushi. Um, anyway, I've got my um, red lentil tofu in there and it is so yummy. So I've got another batch going on for James. And I've also got for my vegetable portion of dinner this evening, I've also got some purple cabbage sauteing with soy sauce, garlic, and I put more of the um, little red lentil thingies in there because I wanted to because I wanted to see how it would work. With, a, with like a sauteed stir fry kind of vibe. So I'm very excited to see how it goes, but I'm really loving, I'm really loving the red lentil um, tofu. It's a pretty cool idea. And it's just like super cheap, because um, tofu can be medium expensive. Um, so anyway, I was quite excited about that. But yes, I am having, so yes, um, we are, although I've made dinner, we promised Abe that we would quickly nip out to go and play some football. So um, I'm just getting all the prep done for James's sushi as well. And then we're gonna quickly nip out for about half an hour before it gets dark, then come back and then I'm gonna eat. And actually I'm not super hungry yet. So that should be, per it's about five o'clock. I'm not super hungry. So that should be perfect by the time we get back. I will be really hungry because I'm gonna do some lovely running around. So anyway, that is our plan. So hello everybody, we are back home and I'm just making James's sushi real quick. And it laid me, it led me to think about something, which was, James and I usually have hoisin in our sushi and I have stopped adding hoisin into my sushi and I was just thinking about how much of a small step that seems but how much of a big step that actually is. Weight loss is not about changing, not necessarily about changing every single thing all in one go. I feel like that's totally unrealistic but but what you can do is you can make small minor changes every day, every week, every month. Keep on tweaking, tweak, 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 tweak as you go. And that is how you can make some real um, long lasting kind of changes. So me not putting hoisin in my sushi anymore might sound like a really small thing to do. It's not necessarily about the fact that it adds loads of calories, blah, 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 any of that kind of stuff. It really doesn't. But it's a big step for me not to have that in there um, because A, I can focus on honoring my hunger fullness cues properly whilst I'm eating my sushi um, because that seems to add loads of extra flavor and it makes it so darn delicious for me that I would literally eat as much sushi as humanly possible. That is on my plate basically. And I completely, hunger fullness cues go out the window for me when I have sushi um, because I just get so excited about it and I love it so much. So that's one of the ways that I can tone down my sushi Yes, it's still really delicious. And food without loads of extra extra stimulating flavors is delicious when you are hungry. And you know what? It's not super delicious when you're not hungry anymore. So I know I harp on about hunger forms cues all the time, but really, once you've got the vague principles of the starch solution down, um, and you kind of know what you should be aiming for. It's really just about small tweaks and trying to figure out how to best honor your hunger fullness cues as the day goes on. Because when you're able to do that properly, that's when you can see amazing results. So anyway, I just wanted to chat about that fact that I'm not doing hoisin in my sushi anymore. And even though it sounds like a small step, it's a really big step for me. Um, and it's something I'm really excited about, the fact that I've actually made that change. So um, if you're feeling discouraged and if you feel like you, you can't do this or you're not seeing loads of change, don't try and do everything all in one go. If it's too overwhelming for you, what you can do is small, tiny little changes. And over the course of time, you'll be a completely different person with completely different habits and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, small and steady does it. I just wanted to share that real quick. But as I showed you, this is my sushi. I'm going to put all my veggies on there. Let's do that right now, shall we? So I know that James's sushi looks like a massive amount because I piled it on um, like that, but I've, I've got exactly the, amount, the same amount of sushi as James. Now, because I'm adding loads of purple cabbage, obviously the volume of my meal is almost double the amount of James's meal. Um, he doesn't need, he's not a massive volume eater, so he doesn't need all the food that I need. Um, oh gosh, although I seem to have given him some here. Um, so my point is, when you add loads of veggies to your meal, you get to eat loads more food, as you can see, without adding loads of extra calories. So that is the magic of veggies, which is why I'm obsessed with veggies and I try and squeeze into veggies 
squeeze veggies into my life every single moment of the day. And I just think they're so darn important because as a volume eater, that's how I can get away with eating large amounts of food. Um, I did also want to just add, I know this bit's like all over the place. Um, I wanted to add, so I put the little um, tofu replacement stuff made out of um, red lentils in here and it has crumbled apart somewhat, but it's delicious. Um, it is a bit of a soft kind of vibe. So it's kind of like a soft tofu. So next time I might just add less water. Mm, I'll see how it goes. But mm, the reason why I like putting beans and stuff in with my veggies is because it makes it more hearty and it makes it feel like it's a filling element of my meal. If I just have plain veggies, then it's like, yeah, veggies are nice, but it doesn't give me like that satisfaction in the same way. So when I add beans, a beanie, the legume thing, it gives me that like uh, kind of vibe. So anyway, that's why I like adding beans in there. Anyway, so I'm, I've got some veggies in here, but I'm gonna go and enjoy this lovely sushi platter. Um, I always do a little bit of sushi ginger on the top and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. So anyway, this is me for dinner and um, we had such a lovely time running around. Um, we went to go and play some football and it was just such a lovely family time and it got really dark and then we all came back and snuggled together. So yeah, we had a lovely time. Anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting. Got some food. Guys, so it's time to get a little workout in. It's about 10 o'clock and I've finished some work, but I haven't finished all my work. And I was debating what's important to me. And yes, I do want to get my work in, but I also want to get my bouncing in. So I'm gonna pull myself off the couch and go and do a rebounding session because that is what I want to do. That is what I want to prioritize. But I do want to say, this week, I know, is going to be an intense week for me with the babies all day long. It means I can't really do any work during the day, which means I'm going to work at night and they go to be bed late and I'm trying to get some bouncing in. Urgh! It's so tricky. I love being a mum so, so, so much. I have so much fun with my kids all day long. They are just the best. I wouldn't want anything differently. However, I would also love an extra day, an extra 24 hours a day, to do some work, which I also deeply love. I try and miss, put the two together, and sometimes that works, but it's really sometimes tricky. But I love them both so much, <laughs> it's so tricky. Anyway, um, that being said, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna go and do some bouncing. I know I haven't really been ending these videos recently. It's because I'm knackered at night, I got stuff to do. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you again for another crazy day tomorrow. Ooh, so that was a lovely workout. The reason why I'm back on again is because I was thinking about something. I was thinking about how a lot of people, including myself, don't want to jump into something unless they know exactly what to do and they want to do it perfectly. It was the same with all my dieting history. I wanted to make sure it was perfect. I wouldn't start until I knew, until I had everything, until it was the new year, until, until whatever, until it was perfect. Same with loads of things in life, you know, starting a new job. For me, making these YouTube videos, I spent years not coming onto YouTube because I didn't think it would be perfect. I wanted to do videos like everybody else and I couldn't do it. So it's just, I just want to hop on and say, if you feel like you're holding yourself back by wanting to do it perfectly, that is such a crazy reason. Nobody does things perfectly. There is no such thing as doing it perfectly. You just have to jump in and try it. Just get started. It will be messy. You will make mistakes. You, you know, if you want to jump into the start solution, you will find your face in a bag of Oreos sometimes. That's okay. It's all right. It's what you do after that. It's the fact that you just keep trying, keep trying, you keep trying every day. You keep trying. You know, with my rebounding, I don't know what moves I'm doing. I'm just jumping around there like an idiot. However, if I waited to get on the rebounder until I knew all the right moves and did it all perfectly and was like, oh yes, I know exactly what I'm doing, then I would never go on the rebounder. But what I'm doing is I'm getting on there regardless of my knowledge, regardless of how silly I look and how imperfect it is. And I am just doing it anyway. So hopefully if there's anything in your life, this doesn't just apply to food, it's literally everything. If there's something in your life that you are scared of jumping into, if you're worried that you don't have it perfectly down, you never will. So you may as well jump into it now and learn how to make it better along the way. Anyway, uh, just something I was thinking about while I was bouncing and doing some really silly moves. <laughs> anyway, uh, night.